In Kenya, approximately 75% of the import-export traffic uses the roads for the transportation of goods. Due to this, more private investors have chosen to invest in this transport industry. Meet Monica, an entrepreneur with resilience and determination who has gone against the grain to set up a trucking company by the name Workmanship Productions Limited. We registered this company in 2008, April of 2008. Our main line of business is trucking. We do long distance transport for both loose and containerized cargo. We do it both within the country and within the Comesa region. We have actually gone as far as even countries within the SADC um, you know, agreement, uh, for instance like Malawi, and very soon we are planning to penetrate the Zimbabwean market. Monica has no background in the trucking business. What did she do before this? I was managing a media house. I grew from being a presenter to being the programs controller to getting into being, you know, the, the manager. And um, that's the experience that I have. So getting into trucking, of course, was quite a shift. It took us about two years before registering the company to just get a feel of what trucking is all about. We would um, talk to people within the trucking industry, would visit workshop, would visit distributors, would visit people who sell trucks, get to learn about the, how the engine works, fuel consumption, basically how the truck operates. Um, we were also able to talk to drivers. I remember once when we were driving down from Nairobi to Mombasa and we'd stop several times just to talk to the drivers parked on the roadside, you know, just to get a feel of what it feels like, you know, to work in such an industry. And after compiling all the data, analyzing the pros and cons, we felt we were ready. The business has continued to experience rapid and sustainable growth over a short period of time. In a span of um, a year, we're able to get two trucks. And as per our business plan, this year we're taking a break. Next year we get another three and we just start moving that way as, as the work calls. Well, this is where we keep our trucks. We don't have a yard of our own, so we, we looked for a place that was convenient for us and secure for us to be able to park the trucks. We pay a daily rate for security for our trucks to be manned. But as you can see, there are quite a number of trucks that are here, so it's a secure place. Within a week, I'm supposed to fuel four trucks every day and we load five days. So you'll find that within a week it's 20 trucks. So you find the 20 trucks and then maybe another extra five. So that by the time these ones come back, you're still rotating. So you're probably running a fleet of between 25 to 30 trucks within any given time. Because I only have two trucks, I, I'm able to subcontract other trucks to be able to do the job. We have just loaded for Katsuna, which is in Rwanda and that's why we're here to fuel the truck so it can get there. We consume about 1,430 to about 1,450 liters and to ensure that we have at least enough fuel uh, to get there we have made some adjustments we've added an, a, a tank and the trailer a tank that can consume about 1,500 liters on top of what uh, the, the the tanks attached to the head can consume which is about 450 to 500 uh, liters. For Monica, it was not a smooth sail in starting this business. She had to overcome the nightmare of raising capital. A lot of banks closed their face, closed their, their doors in our faces. But somewhat there was this bank that was able to, to give us the financing. Because to get one truck, you need a little over 7 million Kenya shillings. We invested 30% and were able to borrow the remaining 70% for the purchase of the trucks and the trailers. Well, right now we are okay. I mean, we have very lucrative contracts. We have very lucrative clients. We've grown our clientele base. We began by just doing Kenya, but right now I'm doing Comesa. In this high-risk, high-return business, the challenges are numerous. Now, one of the greatest challenges um, in trucking is the HR factor, the drivers. And uh, you find that it's quite a bit of high turnover. And the situations are are unique. You find sometimes it could be negligence, it could be recklessness, it could be theft. With the trucking industry, you really have no control over the condition of the roads, you have no control over the price of fuel. So you see those things really challenge because you may find you've quoted a certain, a certain amount to do a certain job. And tomorrow in the news you hear the fuel prices have gone up. And you can't go back to the client and redo your quotation. I mean, it's already done. So not just having control over the, the environment in, 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 which, in which we work. 
Even with all the challenges, Monica does not see competition as a threat. You just have to be very strategic in the kind of jobs that you pick, but there is work for everyone, really, in this particular industry. She is not shy to share some mistakes that she has made in the past. One of the mistakes that we made was, was being over-reliant on the staff. Be, you find yourself in that desperate situation, so you just get this driver because you do not want to miss out on the job. When it comes to success, Monica has some business secrets to share. It's hard work, you know, and, and making wise decisions, having structures in place. For instance, most people just think of an idea and get into business without thinking of the legal element in terms of establishing and, and making sure that there are structures that are laid. There's a foundation that's there for the business to grow. With my team, I have maintained um, a good working relationship in the sense that so long as you pay your workers on time, Pay them well and treat them with respect and, and also give them responsibility. Don't micromanage too hard because that way they don't think for themselves and they don't have ownership. But at the same time, facilitate them to be able to work. Hello? For CSR, we train drivers because um, you know, you find that they come and they probably don't have those finer skills and they're not driving schools really for tracking. So we go out of our way and organize free training for them to build capacity, whether or not we are going to hire them. Monica has a dream to be the freight solution in Africa. We want to grow into a fleet of 50 trucks and uh, be able to also have a clearing and forwarding division within our organization so that we can do the full package where we clear the goods for you and transport the goods for you. For Monica, respecting other people, being focused and having order in business are some of the qualities that build entrepreneurs for the upcoming entrepreneurs. The advice I would give to upcoming entrepreneurs is one, take time to do research on the business that you want to have. Don't just jump into it, get to understand it. Never invest in a business that you do not understand. Because when the challenges come, you will not know how to overcome them. When the difficulties come, you won't know how to mitigate. So take time, research, understand the business before putting your money in.